I was robbed, and I was put in a car, and I was shoved under the car, under my own, under my own everything. And all I could do was grab what I grabbed, and I took off, and that's what I got. I didn't try to use that. That ain't mine. All I did was run. What happened with the crash? Yeah, I'm, I'm not involved in any crash or anything. No, you are involved in a crash. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. You're not involved in a crash? No, I'm not. Most times, suspects commit crimes and think they can deceive their way out of the situation. But what happens when their strategy doesn't work? Here are six of the most shocking cases when dumb suspects try to outsmart cops but fail miserably. Let's see if I'm... Are you okay? Are you injured? Yeah! Why did you flee the scene? What's your name? What's your name first? This is Alexis Carmen, who on April 1st, 2022, ran a stop sign at a high speed and hit another car crossing the street at a four-point stop intersection in Florida. Officers soon responded to the scene of the accident and found the victim's car completely damaged, but Alexis had already fled the scene. You okay, dude? You alright? Yeah. You injured? No, I'm okay. Yeah, it was a... Uh, Brown or beige Saturn, black female driver, younger. I'm out with the other driver. He's advising so far no injuries, but there is airbag deployment. Maley and Caroline. You got, I've got rescue coming for you just to take a look at you and make sure you're okay, all right? You just getting off of work? Yeah. Heading home, huh? Yeah. Didn't even stop at the stop sign. Didn't. Who? Did who, somebody else get hit? Yeah, he's good, I think. Did you get hit? Okay. You want to get out or you want to chill where you're at? It's up to you. I knew he just chill real quick. Yep, you're good. You're good, man. Take your time. Did you happen to take get a look at the driver of that vehicle at all? Yeah, I didn't think so. All I seen was a car not stopping. All right, so real quick before uh, I get you your case number and everything, um, you want to press charges? For the hit and run? Yeah. Okay, we have a female up the street detained that I'm gonna go and identify because I saw her driving. If it's her, she's gonna go to jail, okay? Yeah. Okay. So just raise your right hand for me. You swear that everything in the statement you're about to give is true to the best of your ability. Yes, sir. And you understand that filing a false report in Florida is a criminal offense and you can be charged for doing so. Yes. Okay, state your name and today's date. Juan Marty, three, what was it? Uh, 4122. Yep. And what happened today? I got in a hit, I got an accident, hit and run. Okay, did you see the vehicle? Yes. What color was the vehicle? Tannish Brown. Did you see the driver at all? No. And did the vehicle stop and check on injuries? No. Did they attempt to exchange information with you or call the police no. for a report? Do you want to press charges for the hit and run? Yes. Perfect. Luckily, the clearly traumatized victim survived the crash without any injuries. Fortunately, it didn't take long before another police officer located Alexis at a gas station, but she soon began to tell a different story. You driving this? Yeah. Turn around for trains on your back. You just hit and ran somebody no, else. I did yeah, you not, did. Sir. I somebody I hit me. Listen yeah. to me. Lexi, calm down. Let me call Teddy on the phone. 41 Central, 110 12. <laughs> Relax. 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 Mission to guilt. I asked her if she was driving. She said yes. Somebody hit and ran her and she uh, took off. Can I get up on the car system? Yeah. This is not going to call for me. Female for a search. I got to call Carol. 600 Speedway. Somebody got to come and get me. They'll come. Let me see your phone. Are you okay? Are you injured? Yeah. Why did you flee the scene? I, cause I was What's scared, your What's sir. Your name first? So, you saw the cop lights, and you got and nervous saw, because you didn't have a license. No, I saw the cop light. I went out as the police was coming in. It was afraid of me to stop. I was already at the stop sign, so it's my goal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right there by, um, right there by you finna go to Soul City. I'm straight. The police is coming to their stop sign. I'm already at the stop sign. It's okay. my goal to go. So I went. The police hit the lights. I stopped. I kept going, but they turned the lights off. And I kept going. As I kept going, they were still behind me. They wasn't behind me. But then they flashed their lights again. I was already by the street where I got hit at. As me still going, it's no stop signs there. So as me still, no, it was, I stopped, and then I kept going. And then the white car was not supposed to come out as me going. So the white car hit me, and that's when I lost control of the car, and I grabbed the car back and pressed on the brakes. If I didn't, I would not be here right now. I would have hit the pole. So 
Did I you got make it. a complete stop at that stop sign before yes. you kept going? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, I did. I made a complete stop sign at the stop sign. It was my go to go. Okay. Somehow, Alexis thought acting like the victim would convince the cop and get her out of trouble. But that was not going to be the case, as they were soon joined by the first responding officer who knew what really happened right from the beginning. Well, I'm leaving now, but I feel bad because she pulled in and she did tell us to call the police because somebody hit her okay. and she was scared. Okay. So, but I'm leaving now. So, is she going to be okay? No, she's going to jail. Because she fled from me before she crashed into somebody and then fled from the scene. Your license was off, Next, sir. just stopped Positive working ID. Right. Okay, you almost crashed into me at South and Jean. Uh, when you pulled out in front of me on Caroline, okay? So I lit you up, you started to stop, and then you just took off. Then you blew the stop sign when you turned eastbound on Maley and crashed into that poor guy on his way home from work, and you kept on driving. Yes, you did. I watched it happen. When you don't stop at stop signs, it doesn't matter if he hits you, it's your fault. And you're required by Florida law to stop and make sure they're okay. Okay? If you would have just stopped, it never would have happened. I wasn't even going to write you a ticket. Okay? Whether your license is valid or not, I don't have time for stuff like that. I would have addressed the violation and I would have sent you on your way. But you didn't stop, then you ran a stop sign and almost killed that guy. His car is total. After the officer explained what would happen to Alexis, she was put in the police car and taken to the station. She was later charged with aggravated fleeing, hit and run, and driving without a license. But acting like the victim to try and get away from the police doesn't stop there. It gets even worse. I was robbed. And I was put in a car, and I was shoved under the car, under my own, uh, under my own everything. And all I could do was grab what I grabbed, and I took off, and that's what I got. I didn't try to use that. That ain't mine. All I did was run. This is 40-year-old Charles Kirkpatrick, who on June 2nd, 2021, stole a pickup truck at a high school containing a wallet and a police badge belonging to a retired police officer in Racine, Wisconsin. Later that day, the police received reports of a man presenting a badge stating he was an undercover police officer. It wasn't too long before other officers spotted Charles reaching into another vehicle before getting in, and he was immediately confronted. Hi there. Hello. Hey. Hi, uh, so the reason why I'm, I'm here today is because we had a couple people calling saying that a uh, man matching your description was walking up and down the cars and telling them they're an undercover officer. I'm not an officer. Okay. Uh, do you have a driver's license on you? I don't, but I'm just in here. This is a buddy of mine. He was going to give me a ride home. That was it. I stopped here. He was going to give me a ride home. Somebody took me from my bus stop, and that was all I know. I didn't break in nobody's cars. I don't have nothing on me that shows anything of that. I didn't do nothing. All I want All right, to do so is, is this your vehicle? No, that's his vehicle. He's sleeping here. It's his vehicle. All right. All I know is I didn't break in nobody's. You could search my my. Hey, do me a favor and just step out of the car yeah. right now, okay? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. All right. Do you got anything on you? That's, nothing. Nope. Do you mind just, if I do you mind if I pat you down? Just, just check money, real yep. quick. Just some money. Yep. All right. Let's turn around. Yep. Just money. Okay. What's this? Uh, I'll tell you right here. Hold on. Okay. This is money, okay? This is money. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You can, you, can, you, can, you can keep that on you. That's fine. Yeah. Somebody tried to rob me, and all I tried to do was get away. All Somebody right. tried to rob me. That was it. Well, first of all, let's start off with getting your name, okay? My name's Charlie. Somebody tried to rob me, and that's all I know. I Charles lies immediately and tries to turn what had happened earlier in his favor, hoping the officers will let him go. However, as officers continued to interact with him, something happened that eventually led to his arrest. You can calm down, man. It's a... Uh... Hold on. Here. Take this. Yeah, I didn't do nothing wrong, dude. I don't even know what this is. This is yeah, from well... his window. That, that came out of that came out of your pocket though. It didn't come out of my pocket here. Set it on the car. Look, I ain't got nothing on my pocket. Hey, do me a favor, just just turn around. Yep. Put trans your back. Yep. You guys are taking me to I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay, right now we're just detaining you yeah. pending further further investigation. Yeah, I didn't do nothing wrong, dude. Alright. Nothing. All well, I, I see a bunch of credit cards. Yeah. I see a bunch of uh, I see an ID that's clearly not yours. It's an ID of a female. Yeah. That just fell out of your yeah. person. No, so I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Okay. Well, here, give me a yeah. second. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'll tell you exactly what happened. I was robbed, and I was put in a car, and I was shoved under the car, under my own, uh, under my own everything, and all I could do was grab what I grabbed, and I took off, and that's what I got. 
I didn't try to use that. That ain't mine. But even after being put into the police van, Charles kept changing his story and moving away from the truth. I'll tell you my name, where I live, and all of that. Did you give the other officer your name? He didn't give me a chance to. No. No. That guy in the car right there? Yeah. I think he was part of it because he pulled up on me and said, hey, can I help you? All right, what's your first name? Charles. I'm on paper and I'm a little intoxicated, but that's about it. These people tried to rob me. Then I got out of one car and guess what? Somebody else put a gun to my head and pulled me in their car. They pulled me in their car. All right, we'll figure it out, man. Yeah, I know we will. Because nothing else in that car is mine. I don't know what's in this car. All I know is he was part of that robbery and he was trying to get me. At this point, it became evident that Charles was not being honest with the officers, and the car's owner was soon confronted, confirming that Charles was lying all along. Do you have your concealed carry on you right now? Well, it's, 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 it's fine no, if you do. It's oh. not mine. Oh, this okay. isn't your... This... No, yeah, they put oh, a lot of... Uh... Okay, I thought you were giving this... All right. No, I had my pocket knife somewhere in there. Oh, that's fine. No, I was going to say, if you had it on you, just don't reach for it, but... That's all right, you, you were sleeping in your car? Yeah. Oh, well... Do you live around here, or are you kind of living out of your car right now? Yeah, I live around. Then that's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so you were sleeping in your car, and this guy that you don't know, correct? Yeah. Kind of walked up, and then what happened? He started reaching through my windows, and then he said something about uh, he got rocked. Something about a uh, heroin bust, and he started showing me a badge. And... You said he showed you a badge? Yeah. Hey, you licky. Did you, did you search him? Did you find, like, a badge on him? I didn't search yet. Search me. Take me out and search me, please. All right, hold on, man. Not so he said that to you, me. too? Yeah. Okay, because uh, we had a couple people calling saying that he was saying stuff like that. Not only did Charles lie to the car owner, but the officers soon learned a woman called the police to report that an unknown man approached her daughter and showed a police badge, stating he was an undercover officer. Subsequently, Charles was confronted about the items that fell out of his pocket. That guy was trying to tell me that he was an officer. Okay, I don't need to, I don't worry about that guy anymore. Do you have a car? I don't have a car, no. Why do you have car keys? Those aren't my car keys. Okay. Did you find that in my pocket? You found it in all the stuff that fell out of yeah, your pocket. The guy in the back seat through all your window. This was all. If that was all, if you saying that was all me, no, that all came out the back window of that car. I didn't do. Shit. I'll take that to the trial. I wonder if that's the retired guy that uh wasn't there a car. Copy uh this person was in possession of Racine Police ID. And concealed carry. Who's this? I have no idea. Why is it in your pockets? It wasn't in my pocket. All right. Copy. Uh, he's also got about 20 more cards, IDs, credit cards, everything with them. So but yeah, we gotta, guy's wallet out. we gotta find the car then. It's gotta be around here somewhere. What car was it? It was a silver it's a truck. Yeah. Yeah. Despite all the evidence pointing to his guilt, Charles proved uncooperative up until they were joined by another officer. Just showed up. I haven't been here the entire time, so give me a second to catch up, okay? Let me open this door just so I can talk to you, all right, buddy? Yeah, because I was robbed. Okay, let, hang I on a second. I was taking that gun for me. Well, hang on. Let me get your first name first. You know my name already, dude. I don't know your name, sir. I've never my met you. Charles. I'm not going to disrespect you. I don't know you. C-H-A-R-L-E-S. Charles. So, that, guy, that guy told me he was a cop. Well, hang on a second. Well, well, let's back. What, what do you mean you got robbed? Tell me about that. I was. Now you guys want to whisper. I'm not going to say nothing. Give okay. me a lawyer. Okay. okay. Give me a lawyer. Okay. Well, let, let, let. If you guys want to whisper, give me a lawyer. No, no, no. He he was letting me know that some of the property you have, he thinks he knows who the person is. I so, don't care. Have him come say that without whispering to her. I want a lawyer. Come tell me you think you know the pe the person's yeah, property. Yeah, don't tell him is. what to say. He just told me. Yeah, but don't tell him. Okay. What here's to say. the deal. What? Tell me. Tell me about you being robbed. Somebody took me at gunpoint and put me in their car, and I got away. How long ago this happened? 37 minutes ago, probably. Maybe 45 minutes ago. Okay, okay. I called, a lady called my mom when I got away. Well, here's the, I'm going to Mirandize you real fast. You don't have to say anything to me? Yeah, you okay. have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to have an attorney. If attorney's not a president, but you can't afford a attorney, I'll give you one. that. Give me an attorney. 
Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you that. Okay. Yeah. So either I turn my silent. Do nothing. I was robbed. No, and that's fine. But so you, you don't want to speak to me without an attorney present, though. If I'm going to jail, I don't want to talk without an attorney. If I'm not going to jail, I'll tell you anything. At this point, I don't I don't have any reason to take you to jail. Yeah. But I'm. I'm but I want to. Before we ask any questions, I want yeah. to know: Are you willing to speak to me without an attorney present? As long as I'm not going to jail, yeah, I'll tell okay, you. Well, we're sitting know. right here. We're not going to jail right now. Okay, we're just can, having a conversation. Can you give me a drink of water and sit me on the curb and give me some fresh I air. Don't, if I had a bottle of water, I'd give it to you. Buddy. Check on me, dude. Just give me some drink. I'm well, intoxicated and I just don't want to be in this car. I where just, am I going to get you a drink of water, sir? Just give me a drink of bottle of water. I don't have a bottle. I'd give it to you, bro. Can you call Popeyes and have me one. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell think, you not stupid. I don't think Popeyes has delivery. Soon after, the police officer reviewed a video of Charles driving away in the stolen truck. But if you thought this would make him confess, you're wrong. So if you, if you want to tell me where the truck is and I can locate the truck, it's a lesser of a charge. Give me a cigarette. I don't have a cigarette. We, none of us smoke. Somebody got a smoke. Okay. So if you tell me where the truck is, I'll be happy. What's the lesser of a charge? A misdemeanor. Give me the misdemeanor. Well, I need to know where the truck is. Give me the misdemeanor. I'll tell you where the truck is. I, I can't hand you a misdemeanor. I have to go there. Sign me a paper telling me there's a misdemeanor charge, and I'll tell you where the truck is. So, have you been arrested before? I've been to prison eight times. Okay, well, so here, so then you understand, in the city of Racine, the only paperwork that we fill out is at the Racine County Jail. I don't have any paperwork to fill out right now. You tell me I'm going to get charged with a misdemeanor only, and I'll tell you where the if truck is. If you tell is. me where the truck is, and it's not damaged, and everything's fine there's with nothing it. nothing damaged. Okay. So why don't you tell me where it is? Tell me that I'm only going to be charged I'm with telling you right now you're being charged with a misdemeanor. Where's I don't have a paper to give you. Give me a recording. It's on recording right now. Show me. Prove it. And I'll, tell, I'll, I'll, I'll get in your car only. The red light. Look at the red light. I'm only going to get in your car and tell you where it's at. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, but I don't have... Don't get me in your car and not tell you where so it's at. So if you've been arrested in the city of Racine, you also know that we only transport in certain vehicles. I don't have a transport take vehicle. take me in this vehicle and, you, and I'll tell you where it's at. You take me in this vehicle and I'll show you. Have you ever been arrested for auto theft before? Never. Okay, so under it's called AVOC, operating a vehicle without owner's consent. Okay. Under the AVOC statute. How much is the carry in prison? It's not even- I got a repeater, what's a repeater? You have an auto theft prior? No, I have uh, a criminal record. Anything charge I get with is a repeater. What's a repeater? I'm not an attorney, Mr. Kirkpatrick. Just tell me what the repeater on AVOC is. It's a misdemeanor charge. I don't believe there's a so repeater. I I'm got a repeater because of my record. Tell no. me what the repeater is on a repeater of that charge. I'm not an attorney, Mr. Kirkpatrick. What does it carry for Avwalk on a misdemeanor? That's what I'm explaining to you, With sir. a repeater. I'm not, me that. I'm not an attorney, Mr. Kirkpatrick. I don't know, sir. You know the charges. I know that it's a misdemeanor if it's found within 48 hours yep. and there's no damage to the there's vehicle. There's no damage done to the vehicle. And that's fine. So we're obviously within that time window, so that first thing qualifies. If there's no damage to the vehicle, then you also qualify. However, we have to find the vehicle. I have to be able to look at the vehicle. And what if it happens to be your vehicle? It's not my car, sir. What's your name? Officer Brady. Why are you lying to me then? About what, sir? About the vehicle. What do you be mean? Be honest with me then, Brady. About what? Yeah, look at your smile. Be, be real. If you, I want don't, me, if you want me to be real, be real with me then. I drive a 94 yeah. Honda Accord yeah. of 235,000 miles on it. Of course you do. I don't do. have a truck, Mr. Kirkpatrick. Of course you do. Okay. Yeah, then I'm, if you don't want to be honest with me, I won't be honest with you. Take and, the former officer's vehicle was later found undamaged a few miles away from them. Unfortunately, Charles had disposed of some of the former officer's belongings in a sewer drain. Charles was then taken to jail, where he was charged with two counts of impersonating a peace officer, driving a vehicle without owner's consent, concealing stolen property, and four counts of misdemeanor bail jumping. At the time of the undercover officer impersonation, Charles was out on bond for a retail theft incident and was sentenced to two additional years in prison. But if you thought people trying to outsmart the police ends here, you're very much wrong. Dude, what do you have in like your wallet? Like, do you have anything in there with your name? On I just like so social security I was, card. I was dating this guy and he was kind of crazy, and he ended up throwing like my purse like into the dam. We're down there like I don't have anything. This is Dallas Ryan, who on August 21st, 2021, was pulled over by Officer Thuman for violating a red traffic light. However, immediately after the traffic stop began, the young woman refused to cooperate with the officers by doing the dumbest thing anyone could think of. Hello, Hi. my name's Officer Thuman. The reason I stopped you was because you didn't uh, stop for that red light and continue to the intersection. Really? So you failed to yield. So you pulled out and... Yeah. Uh, we still had a green light for westbound traffic. Okay. Did you notice that when you hit the brakes? No? Okay. Where are you coming from today? Collins. Okay. Right, headed to... Huh? Where are you headed to? Um, to my house. Okay. Do you have an ID with you? I don't. You don't have... Do you have anything with your picture on it? No. Okay. Do you have any like, debit card or credit card? I'm assuming you paid somehow with for that. Yeah, I paid cash. Okay. Do you have a receipt for that then? Um, no, that was just... 
brand name. It's okay. No, I see that. I see that. You don't have anything with your name on it, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your last name? Um, M A L A K O W S K Y, and Taylor is first name. Taylor. Okay. Yeah. During the encounter, Dallas lied about who she was and refused to provide any physical form of identification. But even after the officer ran a check on the name she provided, Dallas did not deter from the identity she had first provided. Hi. Hi, any luck with that? No, he said he doesn't have insurance. Okay. Would you be willing to step out of the vehicle for me yeah, and talk no. to me? Yeah, no okay. problem. Okay. So, I'm trying to... Put the yeah. pieces together here, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, first of all, do you have any weapons on you that I should be aware of? Would you allow me just to pat you down and make yeah, sure you don't have any weapons on you? Okay. No knives or anything nope. like that? Okay. Nope. Okay. So, why don't we step back right here right. so we're not in the middle of the road? Right. Okay. So, just be honest with me, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that you are who you, who you say you are. Why? The, the photo that I looked at doesn't look like it's you. Yeah, yeah. It was issued in 2020. 2020. It also doesn't come back to a Rhinelander address like you had said. It comes back to a different address. All right. Well, I park falls. Correct. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, I moved around. I mean, okay. I moved around. Enough. So, are you who you are? I yeah, mean, yeah. just to be yeah, straight with yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it just looked different than what okay. the... It, I've dyed my hair and stuff since then. Okay, so you have. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's why I'm asking these these yeah. additional questions. Okay. okay. Is there anything that you can provide to me to, to, to show me that who you are? I have a lot of my stuff in Rhinelander still. Okay. Like you don't I, have like a debit card, like a food card. I've been pretty broke right now. I just came here because I'm trying to find a better job. Okay. What do you have in like your wallet? Like, do you have anything in there with your name? I, on I just like social so security I was, card. I was dating this guy and he was kind of crazy, and okay. he ended up throwing like my purse like into the dam. Okay. We're down there. Like, gotcha. I don't have anything. Okay. What do you know your social security number? Not to top of my head. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I really. All this while, Officer Thuman observed Dallas visibly shaking and unable to maintain consistent eye contact with him. As a result, he grew suspicious and soon requested another officer and a K-9 unit to conduct a search, leading to Dallas being exposed. Is that front or back? What's that? Front or back door? Front passenger door. Okay, thank you. Hey ma'am, would you be willing to step out of the vehicle for me again? Sure. Okay, thank you. Let's step back over here so we're out of traffic okay. again. Okay. So, um, the reason I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle is and I did alert to the presence of a narcotic or illegal okay. substance in the vehicle. Um, okay. Let's step over here so I don't want to get hit by a car. Um, is there anything in the vehicle that we should be aware of? Okay. Any needles or mm -hmm. anything that's going to poke us while we're... Shouldn't be. Okay, because we're going to be conducting a search, okay? Um, it's not my car. Oh, I understand that. So why don't we step back to the front of my vehicle, okay? Okay. okay. But even after being confronted about the drugs in her car, Dallas continued to lie, thinking she could fool the officers. However, that was not going to be the case, as the officer continued to question Dallas, eventually getting her to confess. Erica, why, why didn't you tell me your name at first? Taylor. So who's Erica that's on there? Um, I don't know. I think that's like my friend Doug. Your girlfriend. Friend. Erica who? Um, Bowman. Bowman, okay. okay. And you're confident that when we're doing our search, we're not going to find an ID sure. or anything else that with your name on it, like I've asked for four times? Um, yeah, I'm actually lying. Okay, so who are you? Oh. It's not my first day out here. Dallas. Okay, what's your last name? Brand. Okay, why didn't you want to give me that information Family in the first sense. place? Okay, so is there any other reason why you didn't give me that? I have your home in Rylander. Although Dallas had opened up a little, the officers still suspected that she wasn't being completely honest with them and then decided to search her car. Yeah, she has about $500 cash. So I think we can justify taking that with this. Yeah, intent with those baggies too. Are they individually packaged? There's a well? handful that are individually packaged. But here, 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 1, 2, 3, 60, 80, 100, she's got $500 here. Soon after, Dallas was again confronted about the items found in her car, but it didn't seem like she was ready to cooperate with the officers. So, feel free to have a cig, okay? Um, talk to me about the you know, half ounce of meth in there. needles 
obviously, right? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm just I'm on and off addicts, you know. Sorry, what I'm just seven addicts on and off for like my whole life. Okay. So talk to me about the cash now. Just over five hundred dollars or so in cash. Um and all the individual baggies, I mean, like that, it says, not my first out here. I'm no, I know, I know, no, no, no. It's like, I'm not, I don't like sell drugs like that. Right. I really don't. Why do you have a whole baggie, small individual baggies? Uh, it's, it's not even like that. And a scale. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a scale in there, too. I just want to make sure I'm not even ripped off when I buy stuff, you know? Okay. And so, bags, you can't buy bags individually, so I just buy one, you know? And a bottle of like, just get them at the hunch house, you know? So are you willing to talk to me about where you got that from? Will and talk to anyone about that at some point. So, is there anything else we should be looking for in the vehicle then? Because no, I want to be able to document that you're that's cooperative with me and honest, right? Yeah, yeah that's all it. I can see. Good. Okay. You should place your hands behind your back then. Okay. So I'm gonna take this bracelet off for now. Okay. I'll make sure it goes in your belongings though. All right. You think my first two other cards? Yep. Anything else that you'd like to be in your belongings? Dallas was eventually arrested and later cited for running the red light and subsequently charged with possession of methamphetamine, possession of scheduled drugs, possession of drug paraphernalia, and unauthorized use of identification. But people thinking they can lie and get away with it doesn't end here. What happened? Hey, what happened? What's that? What happened? I'm going to take you back to the car you fled from. I didn't flee from... This is 25-year-old Malik, who on August 28, 2022, turned into a neighborhood without reducing his speed. But when a police officer attempted to pull him over, he refused to stop and continued driving at an alarming speed. It's a black male. He just, he just turned 50. He turned 50 with another vehicle. Uh, I'm in the 1131 block. Lexington and Tyler. He's on foot, blackmail. Where is he? Where is he? A H A nine seven one two, and I have not located the guy. Okay, is anybody hurt? No, thank okay. God there's three little kids. We're gonna go get the kids. Okay. This is the mom. Okay, yeah. nobody's hurt? No, we're no. inside. The okay, was this a park car? Yeah. Okay, do we know where the guy went? That's what I'm trying to find. He went there. He had a red shirt on. Okay, blackmail? <laughs> Last seen west on Lexington between Tyler and Grant, black male, red shirt. He did behind where? Yeah, went that way through his house. Okay. As anyone would expect, Malik eventually crashed into another vehicle parked in front of a family home. But before the officer could get to the scene of the accident, the young man had taken to his heels. Later on, another officer on patrol located Malik walking casually a few blocks away from the scene of the accident and immediately put him in cuffs. Sam 133, I think he's gonna be in front of the liquor mart right now. It does appear to be Malik. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Malik, you're under arrest. Fleeing an officer. And warrants. That's what you fled from officers like last week for, isn't it? The warrants? What? I haven't even been in town. Just keep playing stupid, whatever. I, I haven't don't been care. in town, bro. I just got out of jail a couple days ago. Okay. Well, maybe you got picked up on the warrants. Yeah. 133 headquarters, 10 2 Malik's in custody. Yeah! 
He doesn't know anything about it. I wasn't here. I just got to tell him like two days ago. Oh, really? What happened? Hey, what happened? What's that? What happened? I'm going to take you back to the car you fled from. I didn't flee from... After putting him into the police cruiser, Malik was then taken back to the scene of the crash. But what's shocking is that even though he had just damaged a vehicle and could have hurt people, Malik decided to play dumb and deny knowing anything about the accident. Damn. What happened here? Hey Phyllis, did you get an idea? We pulled up and he goes, damn, what happened here? <laughs> he left his stuff in the car. He's, there's a phone, his quest cards. He's on the other side, but... Oh, yeah. You're lucky you didn't get yourself killed. What are you talking about? You're lucky you didn't, lucky you didn't kill any little kid either. So, so... Is that showing red and blue? And, and on top of it, I got your card, your cards are in the car. Hey, you, like I said, Malik, you... Hey, that doesn't, that doesn't mean I was driving. Hey, you, like I said, Malik, hey, that you can mean I was playing driving. stupid. Dude, I saw you. This, this I saw, saw you. you. I tried to pull you over when you're doing probably 50 down, uh, coming to the roundabout. Why? why are yeah, I, well, I'm not, I got time for you, man. I need to know if this is a stolen car or not. It, and then I need to know who's going to tow it. All this while, Malik denies any involvement in the accident, despite his belongings being found in the vehicle. But when he heard the officers suspected the car to be stolen, he soon began to confess, ultimately exposing himself. So I heard you guys wanted to stolen? I'm not going to talk to you about that right now, being that you're in custody. Um, but if you'd, if you'd like to talk to us... Well, you know, Go ahead. If you'd like to talk to us, I can certainly we can certainly get your rights read to you before we discuss well, the case. Yeah, it's my it's my friend Adam. Dad's of course. His dad's out of town, so Adam said I can drive it. However, even during transport to the station, Malik still refused to take responsibility for his actions. Do you have questions, Malik? Um, well, I was just saying, like, I, I wasn't running from him. I was running across the highway because I didn't want to, I didn't want to get hit by a car. Okay. So, as soon as he told me to stop, I just stopped. And, okay. But that's what he said? He said I ran from him? No, no. Oh. Uh, the plane comes from the vehicle. Oh. I mean, I'm sure, I, like, I know you're not dumb either. Like, there's a lot of other factors here at play. With that vehicle and stuff. You guys going with first degree? No, second. Okay. <laughs> They're like, both still felonies. They're both bad. Yeah. But I don't think you're, you know, showing utter disregard. But the, the DA's office might say different to drive 100, you know, how, however fast you were driving down a neighborhood street on a Sunday morning when kids, kids could be out playing might be first degree. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to argue that. You know what uh, I mean? I mean, I, I never said I was driving either, so. Just keep going to jail. I just got charges dismissed. I just got charges dismissed a couple of days ago for uh, a stolen vehicle. He was eventually charged with second degree reckless endangerment, felony fleeing, bail jumping, a probation hold, and numerous citations. However, Malik is not the only one who has had multiple brushes with the law and decided to play dumb, as you'll see in our next case. And why you're saying I'm at my because we just pulled up pictures, and you're definitely not the person in those pictures. How am I not? This is Amy Reps, who on May 7th, 2021, was driving the wrong way down a one-way road on a street when she was pulled over by an officer in La Crosse, Wisconsin. As soon as the officer approached Amy in a parking lot, a traffic stop was conducted. What's your name? Tracy Corcoran. Tracy called Tracy. T-R-A-C-Y. Okay. The high school last name? C O R C A N. Okay, where do you live? I live in Winona. What's the address? That's what it says on your driver's license right now? Yes. So your ID is out of Minnesota? Yes. Truck's registered to the boy. Truck's registered to Calvin Richards, and he has full coverage on it, like he just bought it. And he actually forwarded me the insurance on it, but. Tracy, you ever live in Wisconsin? Yes. Okay, what's your middle note? What's your full middle? Gene. 
During the encounter, Amy lied about who she was and subsequently refused to provide any other form of identification. It's, however, quite suspicious that for someone going to an area she was not familiar with, she had no means of identification nor any proof of ownership of the vehicle. Due to the wrong information Amy had provided, the officer had trouble running a check on her name and soon confronted her again. How do I spell your last name? Corcoran. C-O-R. Yep. Cork. Corin. Are you saying, are you, are, do you have any other, anything I else on you? On you don't have a debit card, credit card? Nothing. Nothing. I'm so sorry. I literally Who's Whose my... stuff is over there? This is mine. This is my sister. This is my sister, Michelle. Oh. All right, so since you didn't come back last time, is there anything you want to tell me before I go back? No. I literally dropped my phone in the toilet. I was so nervous because I'm not from around here and I took a wrong turn. Yeah. I didn't actually even take a wrong turn. She's like, oh my God, that's a, a one-way. Do not enter. I am not All right. from around here. Stay in the vehicle, I'm gonna to continue to figure it out. Right. Okay, Maybe. so what's your maiden name? Mueller, M-U-E-L-L-E-R. Tracy Jean Mueller. Okay, once again, before I have to bring another officer over here, is there anything that you want to tell me? I never have this much trouble figuring out who never, somebody is unless they're lying to me. I've never done like, anything wrong. We're just so trying I, to find the super eight. So you, you would still have a uh, driver's license on file, and I, I can't yes. find one out of Minnesota or Wisconsin. Correct. You, and you should have one in both states. Yes. I mean, I mean I'm a Minnesota resident, so yes. Married in 2018, that should be updated by now. Well, that's not in our system. Alright, I'm going to try one last time, but otherwise... Even though it was obvious that she was lying, Amy adamantly stuck to the fake name she had given, prompting the officer to call for another officer, and together, they approached Amy. Okay, so, full of Facebook, you, you have a picture of her from April. So who are you? I am Tracy Corcoran. Not. If you keep lying, we're going to pull you out of the car and we're going to take you to jail, okay? And then they'll just sit there until they figure out who you are. What? Do you, I'm, I don't understand why you're saying I'm not who I am. Because we just pulled up pictures and you're definitely not the person in those pictures. How am I not? Can you just start being truthful with us and let us know what's going on? We got the part that you're Amy. Now we just got to figure out the rest of it. My name is Amy Reps. Okay. I do not have a valid driver's license. Okay. And you went through all this to, to possibly go to jail? No. Are you revoked I'm, or what? Because I'm scared. I'm revoked. Because I'm scared. So you just carry this on this whole time to get your ID on you? I do not. I don't. I actually do not have any ID on me whatsoever. Tracy is my sister. Michelle is also my sister. I apologize. What's your name? Profusely. Amy Reps. How do you spell that? This is all over because you're revoked. Because I'm revoked in Wisconsin. Okay. Have you been drinking too or no? No, I have not. You haven't been drinking at all? No. I didn't realize that that was a... It turned into a one-way and I immediately realized it and turned in here when he was right here. We'll run this one, see what we come up with. For those who don't know, it is illegal to operate a vehicle after your license has been revoked. However, for some reason, not only was Amy driving without a license, but officers later found out that she had an outstanding warrant out of Buffalo County for operating after revocation. Hey, right, so you've got a uh, warrant for your arrest. For failure to appear for operating after revocation. Seriously? Yeah. I so, was not aware of that at all. Yep, came out yesterday. It came out yesterday. Five six. Oh my Seriously. lord. Yep. How? When was I supposed to be notified of that? That's up to Buffalo County. That's not our county. Awesome. So, Buffalo County is actually letting us release you on a signature bond for that. Okay, so what? But I can release you on a signature bond for our county also. So what do I need to do? So I need to write up some signature bonds and then you're going to be released on those. Okay. you got a valid driver's license. Yeah. Yes. Or whoever you guys need to get to drive. Yes. So I'm going to go back and do my paperwork. Well, you all stay in the not, vehicle. How do they not tell me that I have a warrant out for my arrest? 
you probably had a court date that you're supposed to show up to and you didn't show up. That's that's pretty Sometimes much the gist of it. when you get a ticket, it's like automatically on the bottom of the ticket, yeah. like an automatic. For operating after revocation, it's a mandatory <laughs> that you have to show up for it. So when you got got it in trouble last time, it would have said on there that it was mandatory that you show up on a certain date. You didn't show up. Amy was eventually charged with operating after revocation, obstruction, and for the Buffalo County warrant, she was also cited for driving against traffic on a one-way street. But it's not just the citizens who refuse to take responsibility for their actions, as you'll soon see. What happened with the crash? I'm, I'm not involved in any crash or anything. No, you are involved in a crash. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. You're not involved in a crash? No, I'm not. This is 29-year-old Fuad Cheriar, who, on February 21st, 2021, had crashed his vehicle into a curb and against a tree in Westside, New Mexico, near the scene of a hit and run. A Rio Rancho cop, who arrived following the report of the hit and run, found Fuad sitting in his broken vehicle and then began to investigate. What's going on? What's up, man? Hi, what happened? No, I'm just hanging out, dude. What happened with the crash? Well, I don't know nothing about the crash, dude. Okay. You don't know nothing about it. Is this your car? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what happened? Nothing. Okay. Where do you live at? One, two, one, one, twelve. Eighty-two. You have your driver's license with you? Thank you. Can I see that, please? Do you have your driver's license with you? I, I do. Can, yes. I, can I see it, please? Do you need it? For yes. What reason do you need it for? Because you were just involved in a crash, and I'm making yeah. sure who you are and what's going on here. Okay. That's all. You have any guns in the car? Okay. Okay. As the responding officer questions Fawad about what happened, he refuses to answer, ignoring the officer, and instead stares at his cell phone. Soon after, other police officers arrived to assist in the investigation. Are you? First off, are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm. I'm no, good. no injuries. Dude, I'm. I'm good. Okay. What? What happened with the crash here? Dude, I'm not. I'm just hanging out, dude. That, that doesn't make sense, okay? No, I, I know, I know. What happened with the crash? Yeah, I'm, I'm not involved in any crash or anything. No, you like are that. involved in a crash. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. You're not involved in a crash? No, I'm not. Okay. So I do not have my driver's license on me? Okay. Yeah. At all. I was okay. just pulled over to the road, just hanging out. That's okay. all I Have you seen your car? No. Huh? Have you seen what your car looks like? Have I seen my car? Yeah. Well, I'll try to get his name and stuff, I guess. What's your name, bud? Well, yeah, you're involved in a crash. You're, you're involved in no, I haven't seen your front tire, have you? It's completely I'm not, I'm folded not, over. I'm not involved. Yeah, you are, because you can see your tracks coming right here. Okay. Okay, so what's your name? Even with the presence of other police officers, Fuad made no effort to cooperate as he refused to give them both his name and driver's license. However, the officers soon decided they had had enough of his uncooperative behavior. Just being uncooperative. You have no idea. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, you need to come out here. Come on up. Okay. Okay. How much did you drink today, man? I don't know what the warrant's about. Well, I just want to go for it. Get out of the car. Go ahead and step out of the car, man. Get out of the car. What's 
So what's your yeah. deal, man? Get out of the car. It's police. Get out of the car. You were involved in the crash, okay? Okay. Give me your phone. I'm not involved. Okay. Turn, turn around. Turn Face around. And put your hands behind your back for me. No. Put your hands behind your back for me. Okay. Really. So then, what's your deal? I have, I have no fucking deal with any guy. Just fucking sitting here. Who do you work for? Are you an officer? Where's your gun? Well, I don't. I don't have a gun. Are you? Are you a police officer? He said it was. You are. With who? With APD. Okay. After getting him out of his car, Fuad immediately mentions that he's a police officer, but instead of explaining what had happened, he still refused to cooperate with the officers. No, you're not just hanging out on the road. Okay, how long have you been a police officer? Uh, does that have, does that have anything to do with... What I'm trying to get, gather what you're doing here. What okay. I'm doing here is I'm just hanging on the road. You're hanging on the road here. That's okay. what I'm doing. Okay, what's what's going on tonight? Did you crash? What what's going no, on? I did not crash. Okay, is this your car? This, this is my car. Yeah. This is your car. Yeah. Okay, where were you coming the, from? The title is in my. Where name, were you yeah. coming from tonight? Where I'm coming from tonight? Yes. The. Um. You don't know where you're coming from. No, I, I, I do know where I'm coming oh, from, but does that have a, does that have anything to do with? I'm trying to figure out what happened. Okay, explain have, to me what I happened have, with the crash. With you what, got, you, with, your your car's crashed, and you have a white with, car up there that's crashed. I have no idea about that crash up there. Okay, I, I do not. Okay, I really don't. Okay, so explain to me how oh, you crashed your car. I did not crash my car. Okay, why is it crashed then? I have no idea. Okay, who crashed it? I have no idea. You have no idea. No, okay. I don't. You have your driver's license with you? I do. Let me see it. It's not on me, actually. Where's it at? My driver's license? Yes. Yeah. Back at my house. Back at your house. Yeah. Despite the officers detecting the smell of alcohol on Fuad, his uncooperative behavior ultimately led them to do what they should have done in the beginning. I, I'm like, am I, I'm like, am I detained right now? Like, you are detained because you're involved in a motor vehicle crash. I, I was. Okay. I did not crash with any vehicle. Okay. Things, but okay. Okay. What's your name? Like, I'm I'm trying to figure that out right now. Like, am I involved with that over there? Or We're trying to figure this out. Yeah, dude, I'm not involved in anything over there at okay, all. Okay, great. So, What's your name? Do I have to give you? That? Yes, you do. Okay. So, I don't I don't think I do. No, you do at all. To be honest with you. Because I'm just sitting here, I'm hanging out. How, how long have you been sitting here then? A long time. No, you haven't. I actually the car is smoking. Oh. Okay. 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 And we just got a call of a crash. That's okay. why we, that's no, why we just good, got here. Good, okay? Good, What's your name? I don't have to give you any I'm going to ask you one more time. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. What's your name? I don't have to give you anything. Yes, you do. I'm, here. I'm hanging out. I have nothing. You want me to arrest you for not giving you, not giving me your name? Okay. Is that is that does that is that sound normal? Sure. That does. You're sitting here drunk, crashed. You know, I'm not. I'm just in a vehicle. Out, dude. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. What is your name? I, I don't have to give you my name. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. You're under arrest for DWI. Contrary to what they initially thought, the officers soon discovered that Fuad was not involved in the hit and run. Two separate crashes. This is this one's a single vehicle. Okay. Okay. So this car's a single vehicle. He takes out this tree. Wait, the Mustang? Hathor. Look. So the dart flees as well from the other crash. He is coming this way, makes the turn, he's ending up over here and just starts driving through the yard, the oh, okay. area and gets hung up right here. So while Mustang may or may not have had anything to do with this one. Let's see. Yeah. So these are two completely separate crashes. So this Mustang isn't involved in that crash at oh, all. Oh, it's not? This, no. He, this is a single vehicle into the tree. Okay. 
but I'm trying to figure out the path. After the officers discovered that Fouad was indeed involved in a separate crash, they then called an APD sergeant to the scene to confirm if he worked for the department. What's up, brother? Can you see yeah, your face yeah. real quick? Yeah. Hold on, stay in the car. Okay. What's your name? Fouad. Okay. What's yeah. your, is, is that your first name? Yeah. And your last name, how do you pronounce it? Sure. Okay. All right. So what good. unit do you work with? How long did he say he was on for, Mike? I don't think he said, huh? Yeah, okay. All right. Um, so what he was doing is he was going this way, the on trail side, yeah. and hits this tree right here. Okay. And when he hits it, it spins the, it, all the passenger side damage is here, spins the car this way, yeah. and then he drives it to right in front of that unit there oh, okay. and puts it up against the curb. Okay. And uh, so we get here, he's sitting in the driver's seat, yeah. registered owner, drunk, okay. and so that's where we're at. I think he was the officer who was involved in that OIS where one of our guys got hit in the lip. Okay. I think today? I think it was last week. Soon after, the officers confirmed that Fuad was a police officer and he was subsequently taken to the station where he would perform a breathalyzer test. However, it didn't seem like he was ready to cooperate. Do you agree to take our test? Our test is going to be the breath test. Uh, like I said, if you can get my phone for me, please, so I can call my attorney, please. Okay. okay. I cannot force you to take our test or test, but if you refuse, yeah. You will lose your New Mexico driver's license. Even when he was given another chance, Fuad still refused the test. So I know you told me you didn't want to do the breath test. Yeah. Okay, I ran the IR 8000. It's ready to take the breath test. If you're going to comply with the applied consent advisor and do it, now's the time to stand up and do it. If you don't do it, we'll take it as a refusal. Uh, this machine will time out in about three and a half minutes. Okay. I still have no idea why I have not talked to my attorney, so I'm going to call him. Read, 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 read line number five from the advisor. It's right there. That's why you haven't talked to your attorney. Okay? Soon after, Fouad was taken to the hospital for a compulsory blood test. However, he still refused to disclose the events leading up to the crash. Hi, Papa. See, I'm sorry. I'm one of the nurses here. What's going on? Do that. Nothing. No? Was it an accident or? Yeah, crashed his car, disabled it. Got arrested for drunk driving. Was it a single vehicle? Single vehicle. Okay. The nearest vehicle? Okay. Were you wearing your seatbelt? They claim I was in the accident. It's not an accident. Okay. All right. So you weren't you weren't in the vehicle at all? Nope. So what happened to your head? It's not an accident. Okay. But so then what happened to your head? No idea, not an accident. Okay. So you don't know what happened to your head? No. Nope. Because I'm not a police. We just need to know medically no, what happened for you. I know, I know, I know. So you need to know if you tripped and fell, no, if somebody good. punched you. No, you're good. So you have no recollection of what happened to your face? Nope. I was not an accident. In the end, Fuad was found guilty of DWI and subsequently had his law enforcement certification suspended for three years. If you enjoyed this video, check out this next one and don't forget to subscribe.